Good morning, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about don't make this one mistake when filing for your visa. Now, you're going to want to listen up. I'm going to try to keep it short, sweet, to the point, but you don't want to make this mistake. Now, what's this mistake? Now, this could have happened to me, but it didn't, luckily, because I chose the right visa. And I actually did a video on this. I'll post a video here. The video was a very specific video going from a tourist visa in Thailand to a, or using a multiple entry visa in Thailand. Really, the main difference is a tourist visa, you can stay three months. And a multiple entry visa, you can technically stay for six months, but you still have to, you know, jump jump out of the country and come back, stuff like that. So I really did a cost breakdown on how to stay six months in Thailand because I'm staying six months and I have to come back here to the States because my niece is getting married. But anyway, going back to what's this am am amateur mistake? Okay, what's this biggest mistake not to make when you're filing for a visa? Now, one of the things what you have to understand is between these two visas I mentioned, the, the tourist visa, and the multiple entry visa, one of the main differences was the tourist visa started on your arrival date, meaning the day I arrive in Thailand, that's when my visa starts. Okay, that's when my 90 day starts. I can stay, I can stay three months. So what I mean by that, if my plane lands in Thailand or Bangkok on November 4th, that's when my visa starts. My visa starts on November 4th. Now, the multiple entry visa, that starts on issue date. Now, the multiple entry visa is six months, but it starts on issue date. What does that mean? Okay, issue date means when your visa is approved by Thai immigration. Okay, now you can kind of see where the problem can lie. The problem can occur here because, again, my, my visa got approved in three days. Okay, because I know every... And I, I've done this before, so I know everything to give them. I know how to get give it. I'll give extra information if I feel like it's needed in certain categories. That way it just passes the first time. So, but it, it got approved in three days. So that's one thing you really have to watch out for determining what type of visa you want, how long you're staying in Thailand or you're staying in, in another country is does it begin on arrival date or does it begin on issue date? Because that's really going to affect the time frame of your visa. But in my scenario, what if I would have chose the wrong visa? What if I would have chose the multiple entry visa? So this is what would have happened if I would have chose the multiple entry visa is it would have started on issue date. So issue date, it got approved yesterday. Yesterday was October 2nd. So it would have started on October 2nd. So that's when the six months would have started. But I'm not going to Thailand until, until the beginning of November. So the multiple entry visa is six months, but I lost a whole month, actually a little bit more, a month and two days. But let's just break it down to one month. I lost one month because of the issue date because my visa got approved super, super quick. So instead of getting six months, now when I actually go to Thailand, land in Bangkok, I've already lost one month and two days off my visa. So that's kind of, that's what you really have to watch out for when, you, when you're going after different visa types is how does it, how does it begin? How does it work? Okay, is it a, by arrival date or is it by issue date? Okay, those are the two things you got to really determine into kind of choosing the right the right visa type. But other than that, my friends, I wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you in the next video.